New generations of graphics cards only come around every couple of years, and what we have today is the next generation of NVIDIA GeForce cards, the RTX 2080 and the 2080 Ti, which we've already got loaded up in the system there. Now these cards are full of really interesting technology, really futuristic looking stuff like real-time ray tracing, but a lot of that isn't able to be used today. So the real question is, if you go out and buy these cards today at their very high price, are they going to give you a significant improvement in terms of frame rates in the games that you play? Let's check it out. Our standard suite of test games include Civilization VI, Battlefield 1, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, and Fortnite. 4K is still definitely the holy grail when it comes to gaming, but we started out in 1440p to see how the 2080 could handle lower resolutions. In 1440p, games like Battlefield 1 look beautiful and play totally smooth on the RTX 2080, and it'll take full advantage of your high-end 144Hz panel too. Same story for Fortnite. It's around a 20 to 25% increase over frame rates delivered by the GTX 1080, but again, it's a little behind the 1080 Ti. The real question everyone is asking though is, can the RTX 2080 handle 4K at 60 frames per second? And we're happy to report that it definitely can in pretty much every game with settings maxed. The RTX 20 Ti, on the other hand, has some raw power that we haven't seen before, and that's really exciting. We're seeing a similar 20 to 30% frame rate increase in games like Deus Ex and Battlefield 1. Regardless of the resolution, the 2080 Ti just has a ton of power at its disposal, and it's nearly wasted on games like Battlefield 1 and Fortnite. But if you've been waiting around for a graphics card to properly match that huge 4K monitor sitting on your desk, and you've got some extra cash, the 2080 Ti is a graphics card for you. So here's the thing, these are the most advanced graphics cards ever made, and the 2080 Ti produces frame rates that we've never seen before in 4K. That is really awesome. However, these are also really expensive. The RTX 2080 starts at $800, and the 2080 Ti starts at $1,200. That's crazy, crazy expensive. Way more expensive than the 10 series when it came out uh, a couple years ago. And what you're paying for is not a huge improvement in terms of performance. What you're getting is basically a standard generational leap. What you're paying for is that extra AI technology and that ray tracing capability, and that might not pay off for a little bit. So before you go out and buy these cards and spend all your money on them, we'd recommend taking a serious look at the 1080 and the 1080 Ti, which are still very capable and rapidly dropping in price. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I'm really curious to know what you guys think about these new cards. Is ray tracing the future? Are you willing to spend $1,200 on a graphics card? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're here, hit subscribe for more content from Digital Trends.